be training young people so they can get jobs and envision a future of dignity and self-reliance. And here's what he said earlier today. We need to identify and amplify credible voices, uh, expanding religious and other education that promotes tolerance and peace and respect for all religions. We need to address the social, economic, and political marginalization that is part uh, of this challenge. Ambassador John Bolton is the former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations and a Fox News contributor. What are we to make today, Mr. Ambassador, of the Secretary of State's comments? Well, I think what he said, what the President said, what the State Department uh, spokesperson said uh, is all part of a very consistent ideology. It, it rests on the foundation, uh, sometimes called determinism, that everything uh, in life depends on economic factors. Karl Marx wrote about this in Das Kapital where he said politics, religion, art, literature, culture are merely the superstructure of the underlying economic reality. So in this view, poverty is the cause of everything. And if you just gave these uh, uh, terrorist uh, people who are terrorists today jobs, everything would be fine because the root cause is always economic. It's a, it's a philosophy that doesn't understand uh, politics or religion or culture or any of these other influences. Everything is economics and everything is about poverty. That, that's so interesting because some other people have said that maybe it's the president not wanting to change his policy because in the campaign in 2012 after killing Osama bin Laden, we all remember that he used the phrase, Osama bin Laden is dead and Al-Qaeda is on the run. And that maybe he doesn't want to have to turn away from that, as Dana Perino just mentioned, and say, well, you know, I, I really didn't get that quite right. But you're seeing it as a much more deeper ideological explanation. Yeah, certainly there's a political rationale as well, given the manifest failure of the president's ideology to uh, play itself out in the real world. Uh, but I think this is part of the president's inherent radicalism. I think it reflects itself in his approach to international terrorism and a whole range of other issues as well. This is a president who's afraid of and strength, uh, and who believes what I think is the opposite of the best policy. He thinks American weakness and withdrawal uh, will tell our adversaries they don't need to be so forceful and aggressive. I think it's the exact opposite. I think American strength is what's 